All right, I got a Beretta 81BB here today. Uh, these are also known as the Beretta Cheetah. Uh, I'm super excited to shoot this because I've always wanted to shoot one of these, the 81, the 84s, the 85s. I really, really like these guns and never had the pleasure of handling or firing one yet. And that's made possible thanks to uh, Andrew Wilson again. Big thanks to him. Really appreciate that. And he has also provided some ammunition here. Cannot find this 32 ACP, by the way, anywhere. Uh, so really thankful for that. Uh, we also have some, uh, looks like, what are they, Hydroshocks? They got a little needle in there that uh, he's provided with it as well. But I think I'm actually, you know, those are expensive and hard to find. So I think I'm going to try to abstain from using those, or at least most of them. Uh, that way he'll have a full mag of those. So might use a few, uh, but this is what we're limited to here. I can't find any of this local one, even if you did. Like I said, it's really expensive, or you got to find it online and pay out the nose. So um, we've got, I think, 20-some rounds here. So extremely grateful even for that. Thank you very much. So we'll just have to make the shots count out there. Uh, take my time, no rapid firing or anything like that. Um, but I'm happy to even have just this so I could uh, do a short little review of this and get to experience this thing firsthand. We're really looking forward to it. So as I said, it's the Beretta 81. This one specifically, the uh, BB. I keep trying to show you guys there. I think you can see it now. Um, not going to go like into the history or anything like that. You can all giggle it if you want. And uh, a lot of you already know about these. Uh, this one was an import, of course, being in the States here. Uh, we have fixed sights, but I do really like the sight system on it. So there you go. You got a decent picture of it there. Um, looks like it would slide. However, they got this uh, detent or what have you, if I'm saying that correctly, to where it's it's stamped in place there so it won't move. And, of course, the front is fixed. Uh, exposed barrel like the uh, Berettas are known for. So you got an ambi safety there. It's a double action or single action trigger, so you can have the hammer down for that first round there if you want that double action safety for carry. So you got the long heavy trigger pull. And then each one after that, if there was a live round, would be single action. Mag release is not ambi, and that's it right there. And then you do have a slide lock slash slide release right there. And uh, some of the capacities vary by caliber and year and model and whatnot, but this one's specifically uh, 12 round of magazines. All right, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about the gun. I'm going to get the shooting here. Uh, got 12 loaded up in here, and let's see how she does. I got some holes down there from the previous video, uh, center mass there, so I'm probably just going to do a 6 o'clock hold on the head there and see where we're printing. All right, there's all five shots. I was uh, doing a center hold right there, or six o'clock on the head, like I said, and it is dead on, so I think we're ready to hit steel with it. I forgot 32 ACP is not going to have a lot of knockdown power, so uh, some of those aren't going to go down. I realized that about part of the way through after the first one didn't go down. I started aiming higher and then uh, was stupid there on the last three trying to hit high and uh, somewhat quick succession there and to, to knock that other one down. Uh, anyway, so I'll quit being stupid here, slow down some, make sure we're hitting them.
All right, so I discovered out there, apparently, so we were standing closer when I shot the uh, paper target there, and it was about a center to a little bit of a six o'clock uh, hold, uh, but as I backed up and started shooting these still, at least on this uh, second mag there, uh, some of them were going higher than where I was aiming, so apparently uh, up close it was more of a center hold, but a little further back, we should have been using a six o'clock hold and I didn't know that. So it actually changed uh, depending on how far I was standing from the targets there. But uh, as you just saw on the gong there, uh, pretty easy to wrap it with the 32 ACP because there's not a whole lot of recoil. I was surprised it actually had a little more recoil, especially in this medium sized, somewhat heavy pistol. Um, it kicked almost like a 380. So again, a 380 doesn't have a lot of recoil compared to 940 and 45. Um, but this 32 surprisingly has almost 380 level uh, recoil is just slightly less as for the trigger on this thing it's got a real nice trigger so obviously like i said you can do double action if you want for the first shot there um, but the trigger so here's the take up all right and then it's pretty clean and crisp but there is a very small amount of uh, travel if you will so i'm applying pressure now and we'll squeeze through you saw just that little bit of movement there before it went, uh, but it's pretty nice though. It's not perfect, but, and that's only if you're trying to go slow, like I'm trying to do there to show you, uh, out there, you're probably not getting any of that travel at all. Cause you're just pulling the trigger once you're ready to fire and not even noticing that. So it's a non-factor out there. All right, so like I said, I didn't want to use up all those hollow points here, uh, but we have one full mag here of uh, all those, uh, what I, again, what I believe to be, oh, what are they called? They got the little needle thing in there, the Federals. Uh, but that leaves two, so we'll go ahead and fire these two, but I want to at least leave them this full mag full. Well, it looks like those have a different point of impact because I was aiming right here. Uh, but as you can probably see, they both hit this exact same spot off a little high left there. So that's a good lesson there too, why you're always supposed to um, test your carry ammo because different brands, different weights, different bullet designs will have different point of impact. So that's a lesson right there on that. All right, so short and sweet today on this one because we didn't have that many rounds to shoot. But again, uh, these were provided by Andrew, so we're extremely grateful for that, especially considering I can't find 32 ACP right now uh, to review this anyway. So this wouldn't have happened without him. Again, he loaned the gun and the ammunition, so we're extremely grateful for that. Thanks again, Andrew. Uh, so I really do like this thing. Like I said, I've always wanted to shoot one of these or one of the variants. And I got to say, I am not disappointed. I would probably personally, if I could only have one of these, because of course I'd like to have them all in all calibers, I'd probably go 380. Uh, like I said, I've never shot a 32 uh, before. So uh, now knowing that the recoil is just about the same as 380, it's only slightly lighter. I would just opt for the 380, honestly, have a little more punch, um, especially with this longer barrel here. Uh, that should make 380. Uh, somewhat close to nine millimeter in performance because you know 380 i might be exaggerating there a little bit so don't jump on me for that but uh you know generally 380s from a uh, small barrel something like this lcp here with a 2.75 inch and i'll throw the specs up on here but i think this is around a four inch barrel or close to it plus or minus a few tenths there uh, so that's going to really help accelerate a 380 cartridge to higher velocities and make it closer to nine millimeter performance there so uh, but not only that but also cartridge availability and price it's going to be a lot easier to find 380 and a lot more affordable but uh, for nostalgia purposes and just to have one in the collection pretty awesome uh, to have one of these in 32 acp like i said i'd have one of all of them if i could but yeah the ergonomics on this thing is great the balance is great uh, fits real well in the hand uh, the trigger is pretty nice for what it is especially considering the age um, you know you got double action or single action um, and it's seems to be 100 percent reliable so uh, excellent little firearm i really like them
But that'll do her. If you guys want to get you any of the targets, target stand, or anything you see me use in the video, links in the description. If you want to support the channel, you can hit that thanks button under the video. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.